In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change keyboard shortcuts. So first we need to go up to the Edit drop-down, and this should be the same on Windows. You may find it in File or Edit on Windows. But down here at the bottom we'll see Keyboard Shortcuts. So we click on Keyboard Shortcuts and we see that we have a custom key set here, or Illustrator defaults. If you've added any or changed any uh, keyboard shortcuts, it'll be your custom key set and you can save and export those as well or delete them. And then we can select what shortcut keys we're looking at. So we can look at the Illustrator tools, like the selection tool, the pen tool, or we can go to menu commands, which will be all the drop-down menus here at the top. So like Illustrator, and then you have like preferences and all this stuff in here, and you can go to edit for instance, and you can see we have undo, redo, and all the keyboard shortcuts. Anything that doesn't have a shortcut means that you can apply one, but it just doesn't have one right now. So for instance, if I wanted to add a keyboard shortcut to clear, I could click out here on the shortcut and maybe I want it to be uh, Command 4. So make sure it's highlighted by clicking on it and then press the shortcut key you want, maybe Command 4. And now I've added Command 4 as a shortcut key. Now, if that shortcut key is being used, you'll see this notification pop up down here saying it's already in used by, for instance, the Repeat Pathfinder command. So that menu item will no longer have a keyboard shortcut. And then you can go to the conflict to jump to that one. You can also quickly undo your changes as well. So you can undo and redo your changes here, just in case you kind of messed that up and you're like, oh wait, no, I don't actually want to make it that shortcut. So at least it does notify you if that shortcut key is being used somewhere else. So you've got to make sure you click and highlight this and then you can type in your shortcut. Now the same thing for shortcuts that already have shortcut keys. So like undo, instead of command Z, maybe I want it to just be the number four. And so I'm going to click and make sure that's highlighted in blue, and then press the number four, and now that's my shortcut key for undo. Now that's not what I'm going to keep, so if I don't want to keep those, I can just hit this cancel button down here. But if you do want to keep the shortcut keys that you change, you can hit the OK button over here. I want to make sure I cancel because I definitely don't want undo to be the number four. That's how you can change shortcut keys in Adobe Illustrator.